Perugia was an extremely important place in the movement, in some ways more important than Trieste and Gorizia, which are much well one, more well known because of their association with Basalia, but actually Perugia in many ways was ahead of those places. From the closure of the asylums in Italy, which is of course an extremely influential experience across the world. Um, I've recently published an edited book with Tom Burns, looking at the global influence of the Italian movement, which came out with Oxford University Press called Basalia's International Legacy, with um, chapters on 18 or 19 countries, looking at the way that the Italian experience was translated, understood, misunderstood, rejected, hated, loved today. And Perugia did some extraordinary things there um, in the 70s and 80s, but what happened after that? So those are kind of the questions that I'd like to pose. What replaced the asylum? How did it replace the asylum? Why did it replace the asylum? Are there many asylums or new asylums emerging? Um, you know, I know, for, I know for a fact that many people with mental illness in Italy are being tied up again um, in hospital beds. I know that's happening in the UK. I've seen it with my own eyes. Um, is there a backlash? Is there a, uh, a counter-revolution that's been taking place 